Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Monday, the 17th of May 2021. Uh, so what we're going to do today is we're going to have a look at the crypto space and a couple of these coins, Cardano, Stellar, HBAR, Doge, Link, uh, Ripple, Ethereum, and of course, Bitcoin. Uh, so what we've had over the weekend is Elon tweeting away uh, like like uh, he, he doesn't own Bitcoin, essentially. They're, they're, you know, we have reports that Tesla or rumors that Tesla are potentially dropping their entire Bitcoin position. Um, so it's, it's a bit of a disruption to the space. For me, I think this is just a lot of noise. I, you know, I was saying this to Anthony last week that, you know, a lot of these markets like are bigger than any one individual. And we see that in the future space all the time um, that, you know, people make pass big commentary on markets. I'm really, you know, yeah, there is that initial volatility bout and headline risk that does initially affect that market, but those markets then largely shrug off um, those, you know, comments like this. And, and I, am, I am saying that I think we're, we're seeing, gonna see this with Bitcoin, um, you know, from Elon's commentary. Uh, so what we're going to do is as a weekly look ahead, we're just going to look at some of these coins as they trade on the daily, maybe zoom into the 60 minutes and really see where they are technically. So I have actually been tracking these for the past uh, number of months. Um, I am uh, a holder of uh, the coins that we're going to be looking at. Um, you know, just uh, to, for, for all due diligence purposes. And um, yeah, so let's just go across and have a look at these charts. So, um, you know, from the top, um, really actually let's go from the bottom right and we have Bitcoin here. And so, you know, this is Binance data. And so here's the range that I've been looking at for Bitcoin working really 46.069s on the low here um, up to 67, uh, sorry, 62.750s on the high. And you can see using that sort of framework of the market, um, then, you know, I've got this lovely area and you can see where trade has been contained, albeit blowing out um, here on the top, uh, in, uh, sorry, the 9th of April, and just not being able to hold above that range and then working back in. And then you can see loosely at the top of the range here, it's just contained to go back down to the other side. Uh, just technically mapping this out for you so to show you what you're looking at. Um, also, I've used uh, a couple of key levels like the uh, 20,000, which for Will and myself was this real demarcation line for the breakout, then the pullback, and then the bid up to where we are now, um, you know, three times the value, if not more. Um, but, you know, also using a FIB extension tool from the swing low that we saw on the 26th of Jan this year, to the swing high that we saw on the 20th of Feb this year, and then the pullback um, low to the 27th of Feb. And that gives us these Fibonacci extension uh, targets, which, um, you know, they may not make so much sense to you looking at them now, but, um, you know, we will track them uh, as we go on through time. So I'm just gonna cut them short um, and put them on the left here for now. So from a fundamental perspective, um, you know, we were looking at on our Twitch feed last week, uh, the sort of bear flaggish activity that we see just in this, uh, this sort of sideways, apparently sideways consolidation. But, you know, we did fall out of bed on that bear flag, really actually only uh, falling out properly last Wednesday. Uh, I did flag this up at the time. And, you know, then coming into the weekend, uh, we've seen Elon just bashing Bitcoin, driving it back down at the bottom of this range here. Um, you know, I actually think there's a good buy here on uh, Bitcoin. I'd had this highlighted as a nice area. I wanted to get involved at the 46.069s, bottom of the range. Um, and, and you can see there was a stand up off of that level, uh, which would have been a nice intraday long um, last week. And we can certainly go over to the, um, the 60 minute chart and have a look at that there. And so here is that sort of pullback on, uh, sorry, that's not the pullback on that level. And um, this is the wrong, uh, this is stellar. Uh, let me get onto my Bitcoin 60 minute, here you go. So essentially, yeah, well within that one hour bar, you know, we pipped into this area, a lot of risk, um, you know, potentially blowing out traders on that long 
Um, but then getting back up into this range and then, you know, just working its way back again, you know, APAC session this morning, drop, it can't hold in the range, dropping back. This actually, to me now, looks like a decent short for the intraday traders. Uh, you're shorting the 46.069s as your sort of risk off level and then trade this on down to, to get a lot cheaper than, than it is right now. So for me, I actually think for now, there is more downside on Bitcoin um, until we until we essentially uh, probably have reversal of commentary from Elon or he comes out and says he's just joking or something like that. Um, you know, but until then, I don't like to look at Bitcoin. Uh, we will talk about Bitcoin when we talk about our Hedera hash graph or also known as HBAR uh, to the Bitcoin denominated um, asset there. Uh, but the other big boy in town is as we all know, Ethereum, also the only other future CME traded uh, crypto product. Um, I was looking at the bear flag that we had here a couple, well, really back, uh, way back on um, the 12th. So, you know, or sorry, last, last Wednesday, um, we have been tracking this bear flag, right? And then lo and behold, we blew out in the top, put in a new all time high here, um, up at 43.85 euro or sorry usd to the to the ethereum and um, before then rec receding back into the bear flag right and that's when i had this sort of area that i wanted to be short um after actually looking to buy a pullback then i, I just thought wow i might want to short this thing um, and sure enough we came down to retest this fib extension level here at 32.57s now this fib extension level again like any fibonacci extension we got the low 22nd of feb uh, 2021 uh, then we have the high uh, 13th of march and then uh, the pullback 24th of march and, and that gives us our projection areas moving up here uh, nice target on this blow top high that we had so you know the market firmly stuck in this sort of a range really uh, let me just kind of put on you know something a little bit like this um you know the buying i think on the 3257s here uh i'm not so, so sure if this is going to hold up i think we could get a little bit deeper on the pullback and um, this was the main really decent breakout area 2551 spot 90 uh on ethereum for me and i think you know if i really wanted to pile into this which i do I'd definitely be waiting for the 2551s. Uh, you could be starting to add in a little bit here in the 3257s, albeit, you know, I'd rather wait until we get this sort of Elon, you know, air out of the market. Uh, looking at, sorry, just fix that up there. Uh, looking at, let's see, Doge. Uh, Doge, I mean, what a coin. Uh, just, just talking about this with someone uh, we have broken out of this well-defined range that we had in Doge, um, you know, putting in, I think there's this 400% up move here um, over like, I think we did 400% in one session uh, there a couple of weeks ago. Uh, but for me, we are sort of building into what is like a, like a flag uh, sideways consolidation structure. I always monitor these things and they break out the way the way they came in. So this this flag was formed on the bid side, and I think it will exit on the bid side. And when you and it's not uncommon to see fake outs on the breakout. So you get a fake out on the breakout, and then that in, gets entirely reversed quite aggressively. So this is kind of the shape of the market I see on on uh, Doge. I think it's very well supported on the thirty eight euro cent to the Doge. Um, which is the top of this range. So, you know, nice nice area to buy here and get on with further upside prices. And even if it fails and comes back down, I think, you know, you, you should be buying down here at the 18 or 19 euro cent and 100% buying, you know, at, at the 11 euro cent to Doge. Uh, that's just the shape of the market on the daily bars that I can see here. Uh, link. Not going to spend too much time on link this is as clear and clean as it gets uh, almost well no this one probably isn't as clean as one or two of the others i'm going to show you but what we've seen is uh, the range well defined um finally firming up here uh, late april <coughs> excuse me and then moving up into what was a bear flag 
we get the breakdown, but then well supported on the top of the range. I think we have seen the low for probably uh, this quarter on link, um, but you know I don't like putting out massive calls like that willy nilly. Uh, you know I'd like to I'd like I'd like to think this will remain supported. Um, I don't really want to see these markets coming back into the ranges that they've largely spent. Uh, you know, all of this year forming as a, as a nice sort of jump point base area to go on for higher. Um, Ripple, you know, Ripple's uh, a bit of a Ripple has had the weight of an inve SEC investigation for the past six months on its back, maybe even longer. Uh, but now the sort of uh, commentary coming out of that SEC conversation and uh, and 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 um, that investigation is actually now swaying towards Ripple's favor. Um, they're not viewing a lot of the activity that went on as being nefarious. And so I think this is why I am interested in owning Ripple for much further up this upside now. Um, I think, you know, we have the, the flag pennant. This should exit the way it came in. I think consolidation here is, is good, it's healthy. I mean, obviously, you know, you wouldn't want to see this and be a buyer. Um, but I do like the longs from, say, the spot 80 cent, euro cent to the Ripple coin. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I think further upside on this, who knows right now where it's going. But, you know, FIB extension tools are telling me um, essentially that we do have, uh, you know, good consolidation up here at the one spot 5676. Um, you know, the next leg up, I don't really have too much of a target apart from the two spot 3511 euro cent, and that's a 423% extension at Fibonacci. Now, just to give you a little flavor of um, what the percentile gain from where we are now, for example, is to there, uh, you're looking at about 86% increase in baseline price uh, from here to there. I'll I'll take I'll take that trade any day absolutely. Uh, so I do like Ripple. I do like the fundamentals how it's softening, and I think you know there's there's value to be had there right now. Um, uh, yeah, that's that's as simple as that really on Ripple. So I actually overall I am very bullish on a lot of these coins. H bar a fantastic, uh, really fantastic coin. Um, this is really part of more so the data blockchain space rather than uh, DeFi or anything like that. So Hedera Hashgraph is kind of used to confirm database transactions and handing, you know, crisscrossing data across a lot, a lot of systems. And um, and Ripple is, or sorry, HBAR is, is a network used to facilitate that. I've actually worked in this space um, for a number of years and uh, you know, I'm quite familiar with what's going on with HBAR. Uh, for me, the fundamental aspect is that I don't know if many of the very large tier partners that HBAR have on their council, the, the Hedera Hashgraph council, are going to be happy with, you know, 100%, 200% markup on um, the cost of, of transferring their data. But we are talking very, very, very small beans um, per, per, per confirmation of transaction um, or any of the dApps, uh, digital apps that are built on this network. Uh, so I think there is quite a lot of upside left for this to run. Uh, the, I'm, I'm trading HBAR to the Bitcoin. So anytime we get softness in Bitcoin, we're obviously going to see appreciation of the underlying uh, price on, on HBAR BTC. Uh, so definitely I'm staying in here for a continued breakout. Yeah, you could def definitely get another pullback here on uh, 549s, uh, 549s. So, you know, I'd be a buyer there again. Uh, I don't think this is a, a, a fake out on the upside. Uh, I firmly believe in the upside on this on this coin. Um, so what else can we see? Ripple, uh, sorry, not Ripple, Stellar. Stellar is actually one of my... Uh, overweight coins and i have no problem sharing that and um, so again with the range that we've we've formed throughout this year and just fantastic buying you know participation every time we, we break out above and pull back to the top of this range i mean it's just evident to see here on the daily bars 
uh, I, I'm still looking at buying more on the 47914 uh, sellers to the euro. Um, the shape of these markets will be exactly the same um, on your USDs or your euros, to be honest. Maybe a little bit different, um, but you know, I wouldn't be too concerned about that. I think the, the overall uh, shape and momentum of these markets is explained by each of their individual charts, whether it's uh, stellar GBP, stellar AUD, stellar USD or Euro. Um, albeit stellar Euro, or sorry, stellar or any of these coins paired with the US dollar are obviously going to benefit quite a lot given that we have this weaker dollar environment, right? I mean, if we look at, um, if we look at this weaker dollar environment here, um, Dixie, which is what, you know, one of the markets that we cover in the, in the main pro, uh, room, uh, is that, you know, this Dixie trade is, is, you know, the Dixie I, to me is set for trading down to 89 spot twos, um, certainly down to the 89 spot nine nines, um, and breaching below. And, you know, this is a well telegraphed trade to the market, to be honest. So why is this important well if you're trading crypto and you have usd denominated coins and positions uh well well then you know you, you're set for a pretty decent uh enduring upside as that dixie value slides off as we have these inflation readings coming in and devaluing that currency so um you know and then finally uh ada cardano uh cardano uh, Richards, uh, one of the pro traders in the uh, crypto room, uh, Richards' uh, favorite coin, uh, I say tongue in cheek, um, but really this has been fantastic on the breakout of the range um, and then a pullback here, seeing uh, when did we get this pullback? This was strictly speaking, this was actually on the 10th of May. And, you know, that pullback being well supported on the bid, going, moving up here to the two euro marker, uh, to uh, the ADA. I think, I think, you know, yeah, we're having a pretty deep pullback today. I'm not scared. I think we're going to be seeing much higher prices here as we go on through the rest of this summer. And indeed, just the rest of this month, I think we're going to see some pretty well supported buyback, or, sorry, well supported um sell-offs here like like the one we're seeing this morning well i wouldn't qualify this as a sell-off it's just a pullback really it'd be a sell-off if it like if it crashed down uh below the range high which is here at one spot two three uh range high so that's really a, a little look ahead for the week um the trades you know i think i'd be trading off a lot of these range highs and lows uh for the week looking for the edge there um, you know, I think it's, it's best for me to be monitoring these things on the, on the, on the daily bars and kind of keep us out of, you know, any of those itty bitty marginal trades that can get us all into a lot of trouble and get you really turned around on, on managing your, your, your book and your investment book in these products. Um, so yeah, if anyone wants to reach out to me, you can get me in the discord room live every day. Um, I'm, I'm live on video and chat with the guys and girls. Uh, you can email me t.duggan at amplifytrading.com uh, or reach out to me on Twitter. Uh, it's at T-I-M-D-U-G, at Tim Doug. So listen, guys and girls, have a fantastic trading week. Um, don't listen to Elon. And um, yeah, I hope, I hope it goes well for you. We'll see you towards the end of the week. Cheers.